What's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing awesome. About to head out on another solo trip. Made uh, a few stops here. Got a little bit of food uh, for some dinner and picked up this this little like backpacking tarp I'm gonna use as like ground cover. Got a new tent, uh, a much lighter one and made a huge difference already. Got everything packed up. Dude, my backpack is way lighter now. So this two mile hike should be a breeze now and uh, let's get going. Like a long time ago, doesn't it? Dude, look at the size of this snake out here on the road. The first two series were the first month in June. Yep. Plus, I mean, plus, you mentioned I don't think it's a rattlesnake. Yeah, a lot of chance to do much. And some first round exits and whatnot. I'm not going to get out there and move him just because I am not a uh, wildlife expert and I don't want to get bit or stress him out at all, but. I'm hoping to kind of scurry him along, get him out of the road here. That's not a good spot for him. We'll see. I have to. I turned around because I saw him, so I have to. I'm heading back that way. So let's see. If I turn back around, hopefully he'll be almost off the road without me having to touch him. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. What, uh, do you know what kind of snake he is? A bull snake. A bull snake? Okay, perfect. <laughs> I didn't want to stress him out, so. Exactly. Awesome, thank you so much. No, thank you. Have a great day. Heck yeah, awesome. Looks like he got the help he needs, so. Pretty close to the parking lot now. Should be there uh, pretty soon. And, oh man, look at these clouds. I'm hoping we don't have to deal with uh, too much rain, but. We'll see. All right, just got to the parking lot. Not raining too bad right now, but you can see there's kind of clouds all over the place. We got some over here, got some over here, some more on this side. So I'm gonna kind of hang out a little bit, see if this rain kind of backs off. Um, I don't want to wait too long and then have it start dumping and then me sitting here thinking I should have I should have started hiking right away. But we'll kind of see what happens. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll get everything ready and uh, we'll be hiking down there in just a bit. Jason, Jason Copper launched it down ice. This is going to be icing on a lot of this time. The 17, 18. Right. I guess now is as good a time as any to get going. I'm going to grab all my stuff and we're going to be heading out of here. And so it begins, two mile hike down to the campsite. Now that the rain stopped, it's absolutely beautiful out here. It's the perfect temperature. It was scorching hot earlier, but uh, now that those clouds came through, the rain came down, kind of cooled everything off. It is perfect, so let's keep moving. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Just a little deer right over there. Another thing I've kind of picked up on as a beginner backpacker, uh, having your backpack sized and your straps done up the right way makes the world of difference. Just uh, a little while back there, I was kind of getting tired and my, my pack was starting to feel a little bit heavy. Tightened up the load bearing straps right here and kind of lifted that up. I tightened up the chest strap a little bit. Honestly, just feels so much lighter. And so doing little things like that, getting the right size pack, 
adjusting uh, your straps and making sure everything's situated the right way is, uh, is super important. All this stuff I'm kind of figuring out through videos and uh, through other YouTubers and stuff like that. So uh, if any of you guys have any tips or, or anything like that, feel free, throw them in the comments. I definitely like hearing from you guys and uh, especially hearing about new gear that's budget friendly. Wish I had my other camera with the longer lens, but to be honest, I think I'm carrying enough weight, so I'm trying to limit that as much as possible. Dude, this one's even walking closer to me. I'm kind of freaked out. I think that I'm going to give him some, uh, some of my snacks or something. All right, I got way too distracted by the deer. <laughs> Spent like 10 minutes just looking at him. You can tell I'm definitely like new to getting outdoors, even a little white-tailed deer. Or what kind of, what are they, mule deer? Got a little bit left to camp. Actually, I think this is uh, the last incline before we get there, so. Almost there. Well, this looks familiar. Here we are. Woo! It's awesome, man. All right, awesome. Time to get this pack off and uh, cool down. <laughs> Gonna be using a new tent this time. Got myself an actual backpacker's tent. So uh, it, nothing too crazy, but I got the Eureka Suma 2 and did a quick setup in the apartment and uh, Seems pretty good. The qual like the durability of the material is my biggest question, honestly. Um, for the amount uh, of camping I want to do this summer, over the course of the entire summer, uh, I'm hoping it holds up. So, 150 bucks, not too bad. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So first time getting to use it out here. And let's see how easy it goes up. Holy shit, dude. No joke, just saw a black bear walking right down that hill. Just started calling out, yo bear, yo bear, clapping really loud. It kind of looked over at me, saw me, and, and took off down the hill. Dude, that was my first time ever seeing a bear. I'm, I'm kind of shaking, dude. I got my freaking, <laughs> my, uh, my dinner spread out over here on the, uh, on the table with my sausage and my rice and stuff. I'm still, I'm freaking kicking myself that I didn't wait one second before yelling at it to actually get it on film for you guys. Oh man. Like wasn't, it wasn't walking directly at me. It was kind of moving, you know, sideways down the hill over here in that direction, but I didn't want to take any chances. Like, dude, I saw it walking down the hill and I ran over to grab my camera. By the time I like bent down to pick up the camera, I was already like, like just me, I had to move like 10 feet closer to it. And that was like, that was it for me. I was like, okay, this is it. That's where I draw the line. And so I just started yelling at it, clapping at it. Glad it didn't like kind of go on that curiosity instinct of like, hey, what are you? Whew. But. All right, it's getting dark fast. I gotta get this tent up. I'm gonna make, I don't even know if I wanna cook anything right now, dude, I'm fucking scared. But yeah, I haven't ate anything all day. I need to eat, so. I'll go ahead and make myself a little bit of food and then get everything in that bear locker.
Got a new, much lighter, much smaller sleeping pad. Got the Climate V2. The Climate Static V actually, not V2. All right. Got that inflated. Got my pillow unfolded. All right. All right, there we go. Everything's set up in there. Got this little vestibule for my gear, but still have plenty of room if I wanted to put this in here. There we are, good deal. Every time I pull my head out of this tent, I keep like glancing over here. I'm expecting to see that bear come back. Man. All right, time to get some dinner going. I'm starving. All right, before I get dinner going, let's go ahead, crack open a nice, somewhat cold Voodoo Ranger. This time, we got the Juice Force IPA. So, cheers. Damn. This is really good, actually. This is probably one of my favorite uh, Voodoo Rangers. They have a, a couple different hazy IPAs, which has been my new thing lately. I've I love hazies. Got a brought an extra sweater. It's like a little fleece. Throw that on. Food bag, which I have my breakfast, some oatmeal, cranberries again, coffee, some sugar, a little bit of creamer. And then I have rice and I bought these sausages. So I'm just gonna cook up this rice, cut up one or two of these sausages, throw them in here, boil them up. Should be good. So hopefully that bear doesn't come back. And if he does, uh, I'll just give him two of my sausages and hopefully he's on his way. Once again, these things freak me out. No explosions. Got my little trash bag here with a rock on it. Cut this into slices here. I really need to get some bear spray, especially if I plan on camping a lot more often. Just cause you, you never know, dude. All right, Throw a little bit of water in here. All right, cool. We'll let that cook. And in just a few minutes, we're gonna have dinner. All right, so we got a little bit of just white rice with some some sausage. Beginner backpacking mistake. Uh, I didn't bring any uh, spices or herbs. So we just literally have plain white rice and this apple smoked sausage, I think. And while it'll be good, I'm not gonna complain about it. It could definitely use a little salt and pepper. That's for sure. So there's a little bit of water in here. I'm gonna go drain this. Uh, far away from here, thanks to that bear, and then uh, come back and we'll eat up. But here we go, we got this all cleaned out. I'm gonna eat up. I like to flip it upside down so it dries. Let's grub. Man, aside from the salt and pepper, 
I bet this is going to be pretty good. I kid you not, man. When I say that was my first bear experience, that was my first bear experience. I'm going to finish eating this food. I don't want the smell to linger around much longer than it has to. Finished eating, got everything all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm gonna take this all to, I'm gonna take this all to the uh, the bear locker right over there. Finish this beer, get everything in the locker. That'll be it for the night. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, dude. Something is going on with this trip. Now I just seen a couple bats fly overhead. This is definitely the most amount of wildlife I've ever experienced in one day or at one time outside of like going to the zoo. You know what I mean? We saw all those deer when we were hiking in, saw the black bear setting up the tent, saw that snake as we were driving in as well. Now the bats. Wow, man. This is crazy. See, there he goes. You can tell it's a bat too. Oh man, they're actually getting, oh, super low and I'm freaking out. Oh dude, what the hell? Whoa, he literally came to the ground. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here before I get like a bat to the face. I'm going to the tent. I'll be back. Please don't hit me. Close the vestibule. First of all, why the heck did I get that freaked out from a bat? I didn't even get to finish my beer yet. This is crazy. Awesome. But, man. This is only my second time out here by myself. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy. So it's all about, I'm going to hang out in here for a little bit. Let those bats have their fill. And uh, I think we'll hit the hay here pretty soon. All right, sweet. I just got back from putting everything in the bear locker. I'm getting all situated here in my sleeping bag. This tent is working out awesome so far. I'm gonna get situated here and get all cozy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning. So yeah, seeing that bear did not uh, help me get a good night's sleep yesterday. Sun's coming up now, so I'm gonna get packed up and uh, head out. Of course, the battery's about dead, so I'll see you guys at the car. All packed up, campsite's looking good, nice and clean, picked up all the trash. I actually, I even picked up that toilet paper that was over there. Not with my hands, dude, come on. I used a stick, put it in my trash bag, and uh, awesome. So, looks better than when I got here, and I'm gonna hit the trail. I'll see you guys at the car. All right, so, of course, camera battery died on the way out, just like last time. But, I got my phone, so I'll be able to record just a little bit. Man, I've already seen so many deer hiking back so far. And this time it's cool though, cause it's light out and I can see them and it's not just their creepy eyes staring at me from the darkness. So, man, this has been an awesome trip. I've seen more wildlife out here this time than I've seen collectively my whole life. <laughs> Still can't believe I saw that black bear though. What a crazy, crazy experience. I'm having so much fun and I'm hoping to be doing this a lot more this summer. So hopefully you guys tag along and thanks so much for sticking around. I'm about back to the car and I will catch you guys in the next one.